Hi Capricorn, welcome to the pink full moon in Scorpio for April 23rd, 2024. Pink because of the pink flowers that usually bloom around this time. Sadly, not a pink moon, which would be really cute. But in any case, uh, the flowers are nice. The full moons bring in uh, rather close out um, cycles. So you can be conscious of a cycle being closed out or uh, maybe one's closing out and you're really not aware of it. The direction that the reading is going is a number six people, the loving woman. Now number six is balance, right? And so this can be uh, somebody who brings balance to your world because she is doing something loving and kind and caring. This can also be you. You may be helping other people, but usually it's somebody who's coming into your situation or around you that is offering some type of care and love. doesn't have to be romantic. It can be. Six brings balance. Okay, that's nice. Let's see where this is going for you. Now, um... The first column is indicative of uh, where you find yourself at the time of the full moon or uh, if you are closing out a cycle, uh, what could be uh, leaving your, um, your situation or what you are consciously closing out. The center card is you and how you're dealing with the whole situation. how you're acting, how you're behaving, what you're thinking, what you're feeling, what you're doing. And the last one is probable outcome. Um, probable because some things we can change, which is why we gather information uh, with uh, watching tarot videos anyway. And some things we are meant to experience uh, we chose to experience them uh, on a deeper level, on a subconscious level, but always because we chose it so that we can grow. It's always for our growth. It's always for our betterment, though it may not always seem like it uh, in the beginning. Okay, so let's get started here. You have the lovers and you have the king of cups. The lovers is a choice. You're at a crossroads. Um with the King of Cups. Hmm. Okay, so King of Cups is my Cancer card. Uh, this is somebody who is round in features. Um, they are kind of history buffs. They're a bit of a perfectionist. Um, it is my Cancer card, I think I said that. And they are master of their emotional world. It's a cardinal sign, so they are kind of perfectionists. And I would say this, if you are behaving like a king of cups um, and a romantic partner shows themselves, you are not quick to put your shoes under somebody's bed, put it that way. Um, they really do have to kind of be the perfect partner. Yeah, who knows? Um, so... The Lover's card is Choice. Let's have a look there. So, the choice is actually, on a very internal level, lust, love, like romantic love, or compassion, and compassion being the highest love here. Maybe somebody is showing you compassion, or maybe you're showing the loving woman compassion or maybe you're lusting for them, or maybe it's a romantic thing, but there is choice here. Oh, this could be marriage, where all of this is concerned. Wow. That's quite big. They have a couple of indications, so there may be somebody who's ready to propose or thinking about proposing. I don't think that's every um, Capricorn, but it can be for somebody out there who is considering it. This can also be sometimes a no answer for me where choices are concerned. It doesn't have to be in the same regards, right? I'm not saying you're going to get a no answer where a proposal is concerned because uh, the four of wands here is not, that, is not indicating that. 
but it can also be organizations that we're dealing with. Um, so if you did propose, let's say, you may have to go to get the um, marriage permit, that kind of thing. Um, this is can be blockages, but it can also be asking permission. Um, and the choices that you make, you may have to deal with large organizations. This is um, tradition. So this is a very traditional kind of situation. And I do think that cancer is a traditional um, sign for me. I do feel like it's traditional energy. Um, so there may be blocks or there may be extra things that you have to do, some hoops that you have to jump through, some permission that you need to get before you make your choice or um, part of the choice. This is also my entrepreneur card. So if you are considering a new uh, line of work or m taking your work to... Um, uh, like small business or something like that, that's also possible. And you would have to go through um, Hierophant Energy organizations, like um, um, you may be deciding what school you want to go to, and the loving woman could be helping you with that, and what college you want to go to. Um, uh, it could be military, right? Any organization. Uh, it's, it's, it's colleges, it's, it's schools, it's the government, it's um, the post office, right? It's the DMV, it's, it's anything where you have to do red tape, paperwork, ask permission. Um, you only get so far. That's Those are the blocks, right? You have to kind of go through an initiation of some sort to move further, that kind of energy with the Hierophant. But it is my no card. And so it can be a, a, a no in uh, a temporary no, like no, first you have to fill out these forms, that kind of thing. I am going to pull one more card for that. Um, yeah, it could be something that you're a little bit worried about, but don't let your thoughts get in the way. Don't uh, let your, your, your thoughts run away from you. Okay, these are your fears anyway, mental fears mental um, exhaustion. Uh, when you feel like you are too worried about something and you're letting a thought get away from you, you have to do something physical. Okay? And this may not be you. This may be somebody else that you're dealing with. And you may be the loving woman who are helping this person because you're the sun here and the sun is um, illumination it's the happiness and joy it is uh, youthful vigor it's being in the spotlight um, if it was negatively aspected it would be mania but it's not it's the four of pentacles which is the sun in Capricorn which is exactly what this is, right? <laughs> You're Capricorn, the sun is there. So it is about empowering other people and empowering yourself. Um, helping people get good, strong, firm foundations can also be financially and also wanting to um, firm up your, your financial foundations. You have the devil card there. Hmm. There can be temptation around you. That can be the loving woman. There can also be um, things that we can't let go of, right? It's, um, it's the bad things. <laughs> now, here's an interesting thing. Um, the Hierophant. I always find this very interesting holds up the hand in the same way but he only shows you only shows you two right two fingers and the rest of the hand is closed do you see that and so you get partial answers you get partiality there blockages but the devil opens his hand completely and he's showing you 
what it is that needs to be released, what it is that needs to let go, what is negative, what is not good for you. You're getting illumination in that sense. So you may be doing that for other people, or this can be codependency where uh, relationships are concerned, or um, finances, money is concerned. Uh, it can be codependent on a substance, right? Um, we may be freeing ourselves from this. We may be putting good, strong foundations so that we aren't tempted by these things. And there may be a loving woman who is helping you to do this, or you are helping a loving woman to do this. Um, but this can just be negativity as well, things that block us. The thing with the devil is you have no doubt what it is. You know exactly what it is, and it is really up to you to release it and let it go. But with that sun there, chances are you will. <laughs> it can also be that you are enjoying yourself so much that um, you spend a lot of money. You can kind of be a little bit frivolous, or maybe you're spending your money on a loving woman, something like that, and you're not having, and it's not being reciprocated. That Four of Pentacles is also saying, hold on to your finances uh, so you can have a good, strong financial foundation. However, having said that, you have the Eight of Pentacles in the next uh, column, which is the outcome. And that is a healthy wallet, a healthy body. Um, it's also um, working uh, at what you love, throwing out all distraction, right? And just getting the job done. And I think what that leads to eventually is play. Or it can lead you to the marketplace. Four of Wands, which would probably be the loving woman. Like you're working very hard at, at strong foundations. Uh, like a slave to your work a little bit, right? Putting all your effort and energy into that. You are perfecting your skills and knocking out what it is that you need to. And you find the marketplace. You find the right people, the right situation. Uh, it can also be um, parties and celebrations. It's a rite of passage, what you are going through right now. And... Um, People who think like you, who act like you, and that's why they say that it can also be the marketplace that you're working so hard to do. And like I said, this is very entrepreneurial energy here, this one, uh, the King of Cups. And so if you are an entrepreneur, you may find the right people, the right places uh, that accept what it is that you are putting out there. Here is the loving woman, very possibly, the Queen of Swords. She's a very logic-minded individual. Um, this is, for me, Virgo, and Virgo is the quintessential female. Um, but they are can be critical. They can be critical thinkers in a good way, or they can become critical in a negative way. Um, but... These are people who think like you and act like you, so I don't really have that feeling. They can also be good managers um, or uh, leaders of some sort. Um, I would say more on the manager side. And there's wisdom with this person, right? So maybe somebody who can instruct you because they would be good at that as well. Um, and this may come from a very kind, loving person. Like I said, they they um, can be critical. They can be critical thinkers. That doesn't mean they're not loving and kind when they need to be. Interesting reading. What does Spirit want you to know? There's a rainbow beyond the clouds. So all the difficulty that you're dealing with, right? Um... There's a pot of gold waiting for you, <laughs> and that's obvious here. You may have to work pretty hard for it. Um, remove temptation, right? That's this card, and just get the job done. That's removing distraction. Um, but you find your place here. You find your, your situation, or there's a, a need to celebrate afterwards, the, the Four of Wands. There's a celebratory energy. Okay.
I hope this has been helpful, Capricorn. Thank you for listening. I'll return in two weeks with a new moon reading. Bye for now.